How to create animated laser borders in DaVinci Resolve 19.1.3. Inside your project edit window, go to effects. Underneath toolbox, select effects. Go to click and drag a fusion composition clip to your edit timeline. Select the clip, hold in control and press D to change the duration if you wish. Use command instead of control if you're a Mac user. Here in this example, I will use the 15 second preset. Click change when you're done. According to the information tag of the timeline thumbnail inside the media pool master bin for this project, the frame rate is 24. We can use the information about the number of frames per second to determine the speed and which the animated laser bars move in our animation sequence. Right click on your fusion composition clip and go to open in fusion page. Inside your fusion nodes panel, select a rectangle shape. Select either the left or right view option underneath this new node to see a preview of your shape above the fusion timeline. With your shape node selected, go to Inspector and underneath Controls, ensure that both Invert and Solid are unticked. In order to make the shape border appear, increment the value for border width. Here in this example, I will increase this to 0.01. .01. To change the size of your shape, amend the values for width and height. Here in this example, I will change both of these values to 0.7 .7 to increase the size and maintain the shape of the rectangle. To add gentle feather to this white border to create the faint laser effect, increment the value slightly for soft edge. Here in this example, I will increase this to 0.008. Avoid increasing the value of this property too much in order to ensure that the line of the shape remains visible. In order to have part of the shape showing, we need to decrease the value for length. At present, this is set to one by default, meaning that the whole border is shown on screen. If we decrease this, to 0.25 for example, only a quarter of the border remains. Ensure that the border style is set to rounded, to have rounded instead of flat ends to your laser beam on either end, and to have rounded instead of right angled corners to your rectangular shape, increment the value for corner radius. Here in this example, I will increase this to 0.5. Now to create the moving laser beam effect. With your timeline pointer positioned at the first frame, here in this example, zero, as you can see with the red line on your fusion timeline. Select the keyframe diamond icon for position, which is set by default to zero. After three seconds of screen duration, I wish for this particular laser beam to have completed one whole round of this rectangle shape. Since we previously identified the frame rate as 24, I need to advance to the three second mark here in this example, which is frame 71. Now increase position to one, which should enable your shape line to complete one whole loop of your rectangle outline. To add vibrancy to this laser line, deselect rectangle one by clicking anywhere on the empty nodes grid, hold in shift and press space. Use the search box at the bottom of the select tool window to find the glow tool. Select this and go to click on add. Click on the gray box alongside rectangle one and drag your mouse cursor to the yellow arrow alongside glow one to make a connection. With Glow 1 selected, go to Inspector. I will relax the vibrancy slightly by decreasing Glow to 0.55. Deselect Glow 1 and go to add a Merge tool. Connect Glow 1 to the green foreground arrow of Merge 1 so that the white line appears in front of the colored glow that we will add next. Select Rectangle 1. Hold in Control and press C to copy. Deselect and hold in Ctrl and press V to paste. With this duplicate rectangle node selected, under Inspector and Controls, to have the color shade spread out beyond the initial white line that we created from our shape, we need to increase the value for soft edge. Here in this example, I will increment this to 0.035. And to make the line less faint, I will also increment the value for border width to 0.02. To add color to this line, go to add a background node, Connect your duplicate rectangle node to this new background node. With the background node selected, go to Inspector and underneath Color, double click on the box underneath Background. And here in this example, I will select the preset Vibrant Red Shade from the Basic Colors options. The code for this shade is hash FF0000. Click OK. And connect Background 1 to the yellow background arrow of Merge 1. Select either left or right view, to see a preview of your first laser beam. Now to create the second animated laser beam. 
Holding Ctrl and select all of your Fusion nodes apart from Media Out 1. Holding Ctrl and press G to group these. With the group node selected, press F2. Rename this group node as a colour that you have used for your laser beam. Here in this example, I will call this red. Click OK. With the red group still selected, holding Ctrl and press C to copy. Deselect this group, holding Ctrl and press V to paste. Press F2 to rename this duplicate group. Here I will call this blue. Click OK. Double click on the new group node to reveal all of the nodes that make up this group. I will first change the colour by selecting background and underneath inspector select colour and choose the colour that you wish to apply to your next laser beam. Here in this example I will select a vibrant blue shade with the hexadecimal code hash 0000FF. Click OK. Click on the close button of the group window to hide the nodes that make up this group. With the duplicate group selected, hold in shift and press space and go to add a transform tool, not the transform XF tool. With this transform tool selected and set to preview, go to inspector and underneath controls, tick both flip horizontal and vertical. Select your initial group again and go to add a merge tool. Click on the grey box alongside transform and drag this to the green arrow alongside the new merge tool to connect both colour beams together. If you wish to add further vibrancy, with the new merge node selected, hold and shift and press space and go to add soft glow. Connect this new glow node to media out one. Click either left or right view underneath media out one to see a preview of your final laser beams. With soft glow selected, go to inspector and adjust the gain value depending on how vibrant you wish for the laser beams to be. Here in this example, I will decrease this to 0.75. At present, both laser beams only loop around the shape outline once. In order to have this animation sequence repeated, depending on the duration of your fusion composition clip, select Spline. Inside the Spline window, which appears below your fusion timeline, tick the boxes associated with your group nodes. Here in this case, I will do this with both red and blue. Adjust the grey nodes above your graph. The nodes that appear on the line represent the keyframes that we applied to the position property for the rectangle shape to determine where the laser will appear on the shape outline. Click and highlight the nodes. Once the nodes are selected, click on the set loop option below. And now the laser lines will constantly move regardless of the length of your fusion composition clip. There is also transparency by default around the laser lines in this fusion composition clip so that you can use this animation effect in front of videos and image files in your projects. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.